The sampler track is one of the most creative tools found in Cubase, and with Cubase 13, we have new features like the new spectral warp modes and the custom envelope shapes that will take your sound creation to the next level. Let's have a listen. In Cubase 13, the sampler track is more creative than ever. Let me show you what you can do. I'm going to start by taking a sample that I have right here. Let's listen to it. And I'm going to show you what I've done with it. The first thing you need to do, of course, if you want to create a sampler track out of any sample is just grab your sample, drop it into the sampler control, and here we have our new sampler track. And now I can immediately play it. Now let me show you what I've done to this exact same sample, and let's hear to what we can do with the sampler track now. So as you can hear, a lot of stuff are going on there. We have pitch down effects, we have filters going on. How do we do all these things? Enter the new sampler track shaper envelopes. Let me show you what I've done to achieve this result. So like with the previous versions, we have the pitch, filter, and amp modulator. So if I click on this icon right here, you can see that I can see my volume envelope. This is my amp envelope. Now let's go to the filter modulator page and let's see what I've done here. So I'm going to click and as you can see, this is what you've been listening up to this point. So what I'm doing here is I'm modulating the filter with a new shaper envelopes. Now, if you want to activate the shaper envelope, you can go here where it says mode and you can activate the shaper envelope. And that's what I've done right here. Then you can start drawing your own curves and you can choose the different curves right here. So if I grab one of these, I can start creating my curves. Let's listen again and let's follow this shaper envelope. Now, another thing that you might be listening to is some pitch modulation. So let's go to the pitch modulators here and you will see that I've created some more shaper envelopes right here. Now, let me show you how you can start creating your own envelopes. As you can see, we have several tools here. So I have my selection tool, I have my erase tool, I have my draw tool, and one very useful tool is the paint tool. So if I select the paint tool, what I can do is I can select a curve right here. Let's take this one, for example. Now I can select if I'm going to use the fixed mode. The fixed mode will allow me to add more points without moving everything to the right. I can select if I'm going to have my envelope synced to the tempo, which is what I've done here. And I can also select my grid. In this case, I'm going to select a quarter note grid and I'm going to grab my paint tool and let's paint right here. And let's listen to it. <laughs> So I can create really complex envelope shapes. And if I want to edit those, it's very easy. I can select my edit tool and now I can tilt them. I can compress or expand them. I can move my points. And I can scale the entire envelope if I want to, as well as scale the time of it. And if you want to create your own envelope shapes, you can just select them and then go here and save the shape. And you will see that when I click on save, this new shape has appeared here in the user shape menu. The shaper envelope you can use in the pitch modulation, filter, and the amplitude envelope. The next thing that I want to show you is the new spectral modes. These you will find right here under the audio warp menu. So when you activate audio warp, the modes that we had up to this point was the music mode and the solo mode. So let's take this drum loop right here and let's play it. Now, if I try and speed this down, the sampler track does quite a good job, but now we have new spectral modes. So we have spectral, spectral HD, and spectral vocal that's designed specifically for vocals. In this case, I'm going to use spectral HD, and let's listen to the difference.
let's move back to music. See, it sounds more grainy. It's a little bit more undefined and you will see a big difference when it comes to transients when you use a spectral mode. And I can also change the format. So this is a great tool for sound design. Now let me show you another example. Here I have a vocal phrase. Let's listen to it with the music mode first. I'm the one that needed closure. I'm the one that needed... So now I've slowed it down to 50% and you can already hear that it sounds really grainy. Now let's change the mode to spectral vocal. So this is way cleaner, way more defined, and we're still slowing it down by 50%. Let's change the format. I'm the one need closure. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slow this down to zero because with the new spectral modes in the sampler track, we can slow this down and freeze the sample. Let's listen to it. which is great because that means that you can take any sample and freeze it at any point in time and create a playable instrument. So as you can see with the new sampler track, we have tons of options when it comes to sound design and sound manipulation. I hope you have loads of fun with it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.